Grace, good to see you. Joining us now with more, Kellyanne Conway, Senior Advisor to the Presidential Transition Team. Kellyanne, great to see you. Thank you, Megan. So what does that mean, fairness, right? Because I, I'll venture a guess, as we saw a lot of those executives going in, for the viewers, we saw a bunch of Fox News executives going in there. We saw Jeff Zucker, President of CNN, standing there, the, just in case you don't know those faces. Uh, so there was all the muckety-mucks from all of the media, cable, broadcast, you name it. What is fairness to, to Trump, to President-elect Trump? Fairness is actually not having presumptive negativity written about you and always assuming the worst about you. And I think that Donald Trump has faced an unprecedented avalanche of critical coverage when he was running. And frankly, I think it in part he owes his victory to that. There was a backlash against the elites, a backlash against those who were telling Americans what is important to them. This statement, this transgression, this issue, whereas if you look at the Fox News polls, CNN, ABC, NBC, everybody was there, CBS polls, you see that Americans were very focused on jobs in the economy, health care, immigration, terrorism. I mean, the cues and clues of this election were right in front of Let us Let me the ask you time. that. So that's, so, and by the way, the one that sticks out in my mind and has all along was the New York Times piece on Melania Trump. Melania yes. Trump, the spouse, the yes. spouse, right? She's not a candidate, calling her a mannequin and a trophy wife, which if anybody had ever said that about any, uh, Michelle Obama was a successful lawyer, but Melania Trump has been a successful businesswoman. She speaks several languages, a mannequin and a trophy wife. And, and it was just fine. That they're allowed to say that about her. It's as if the editors had off that week. And <laughs> so that's just so a So respect goes both ways, right? It does. But let me ask you about that because even though the media did that to him, right, in his view, and obviously it's, it's true in, in many cases that they went after him with abandon. The public did see through it. So has he learned anything from that? You know, can, well, can we expect him to have a thicker skin as president, given that he he made it, notwithstanding that kind of coverage? Well, he does have a thick skin, frankly. Somebody works very closely with him and was in that room today directly aside him. I, I will say this, though. That's not what the meeting was about. The meeting is not about settling scores and avenging grievances and bringing up you know, different types of coverage. I think it's saying really that Donald Trump was the one person in that room who got it right, who understood American and American reflected back to them what their aspirations and their fears and their frustrations were. And now everybody has to work together. They're the fourth estate. They're incredibly powerful. Anchors like you are incredibly powerful in terms of distilling the information and reporting the news and maybe some opinion to the public, Megan, in a fair-handed and complete way. Mm -hmm. And he will be the president of the United States. So we, we can have... Mutual. He knows he's going to get hit, though. He's the president. That's I mean, fine. he's going to get hit. He's going to get hit often. He's not going to like it. That's the way it works, you know? That is the way it works, but it should be relevant to the job, and it should be relevant to the voters. And I have to tell you, as someone who was like a chief spokeswoman for him and his campaign manager, it wasn't always relevant to what Americans out there were telling us at rallies or telling pollsters behind the scenes concern them. But I actually, having sat there, I thought it was very cordial, very genial. I thought it was So if we cover him the same way, let's say the Kelly file, if we cover him the same way we cover Barack Obama, the same amount, the same skeptical eye, he's going to be fine with that. Yes, but can you say that about everyone that's going to cover him? I mean, you had journalists saying during the campaign, Megan, that Donald Trump compels them to suspend all objective standards of journalism. Yes, correct. They wrote about it. This, we had some of those journalists on this program and press oh, sure them you did. And they, on they the inappropriateness felt, of that. That's right. It's completely inappropriate. It's not journalism. It's opinion. That's right. And it's sort of stop him at all costs. That's right. If you want to take off your journalist outfit and declare yourself a pundit and go argue against him, Go for it, but you can't wear both hats. Right, and even the coverage over the last two weeks since he did win the election, it's been a combination of a few people wanting to cover his next 100 days, you know, what he wants to do in office. He's been very clear about that 100-day plan. Is Your viewers can go pull it up on our website right now, his 100-day plan for them yeah. to see. But then you have others still fighting the last war. You have other people on TV, a lot of pundits on TV, frankly, everywhere, really just trying to deny him and delegitimize him. Well, and you know, the five afraid, stages of grief accepting. ends with acceptance, That's so they'll right. get there eventually. All right, well, I want a couple of other it, things I, I have to ask you about. What was this big soundbite, though, so, at the time? It was, will Donald Trump and his supporters accept the election results? It, he won, and, and so many right. other people are saying hashtag. I want to move on from the media. Secretary of State, now they're saying that it's between Mitt Romney and Rudy Giuliani, which has a lot of our viewers saying, how could Mitt Romney even be in the running, given how loyal Rudy Giuliani was to Mr. Trump? And even if you may like Mitt Romney, he was not loyal, and in fact, he savaged Trump during the primary. 
But the question is, are you loyal to the agenda that Mr. Trump, that President-elect Trump has put forward in terms of his view of the world uh, and the prison through which the Secretary of State would function? But I think there's a longer short list for that particular position and others. They're it's not, very, it's not highly, just those two. Highly, no, not highly qualified men and women who have come to Bedminster, come to Trump Tower, uh, people of different races and ethnicities, all political persuasions, people who have different backgrounds, public sector, private sector, most of them will not be in the cabinet. Most of them are coming because they love the country and they want to share what their work on a particular issue or a particular success story has been. Well, I spoke well of both men that, that the meeting yes. took place. What about you, Kellyanne? Are, oh, have you been offered a cabinet topic. post? No, it's not. You've been one of his most loyal advisors, his most successful, certainly the highest profile woman associated with his campaign. Has he offered you a position? He has offered me a position very early on. In fact, the election night or the wee hours of Wednesday he did. And is it a senior position? It, it is. And I am very fl I'm humbled by that. I think that it's everybody's dream to serve their nation at the highest level if they can. But I have four small children and I need to balance all types of personal and professional considerations. But I, I'm deciding where I'm best for this president-elect and this vice president-elect in, in due course. But there are many qualified men and women who can serve him at the highest levels. I, I do want to say, though, uh, in terms of the people who were coming to see him, how thrilling it was to turn the corner and see people from entertainment, from the private sector, people of different races and, and ethnicities. The highest ranking woman in the Congress, Kathy McMorris Rogers, mm -hmm. who's given birth three times in, while she's been in Congress. That's pretty impressive. We had Representative Tulsi Gabbard from Hawaii there today, who's a Democrat. Democrat. How about um, Sarah Palin? So, Donald Trump had suggested she would be in his cabinet if he won. Is she going to be in? I haven't seen her. I know that they're close and that she's been a great loyal friend and advisor to him throughout the campaign. But I haven't uh, seen her as part of the cabinet mix. But that doesn't mean that she's not. Look, we're going to take the counsel of many different people, whether you have an official position or not. Your opinion, your advice. This guy is a world-class listener and learner. Mm -hmm. And he's somebody I've seen behind the desk as a businessman, as a presidential candidate, and now president-elect. I see the same process where he assesses different consequences and possibilities and he you know he's in command and control but he really does okay. take counsel from many different people a question for you about steve bannon senior advisor to mr trump who's from breitbart uh, originally he he's quoted as as lamenting the fact that he predicts a fox news that will be more centrist in the future and came after our boss rupert murdoch in some unflattering terms i i question whether does he have a problem with with a centrist news organization, with centrist news anchors. I mean, why would he object to that? I think his objection would be to biased and unfair, uh, which is not the way he characterized Fox News to me anyway. But we're all looking for objective coverage, and the idea that some people think they're being objective in the mainstream media when they clearly have not been, when they allow people to refer to President-elect Trump in ways that are... Uh, legally charged that if you actually said that about him mm -hmm. in in a court of law it would be a you wouldn't be able to no he has to be respected he has he, to be respected he's earned the respect he, of all he has of us. thank you and you know steve bannon is a brilliant tactician he was i call him the general of our campaign it's true he, he had a, to be a by the way he had a, he? he had a receiving line today when the mainstream media went, Kellyanne, were, were he leaving. too needs to be a unifier doesn't he as the senior advisor but he is i mean megan we unified we looked past and were impervious to the constant criticism and naysay do you know what was said about all of us? We're stupid. You'll never work in this town again. How do you look your four children in the eye? You sold your soul. Yeah. You know, it went I know, on I've and seen on that happen on. to you directly. It went on and on and on. And when you're focused on the task at hand and you believe in the man who's running for president and the man who's running for vice president, it steals you in a right, way. Right, but then to the victor go the spoils. You rise up by lifting you know, That's right. each other up. You win. And so isn't this the time to be magnanimous like Donald Trump is and not to be, you know, predicting or projecting onto the press how they must cover him. They're going to cover him how they see it, you know, how they see fit. We just wanted to be objective Consistent with fair. what they've learned we wanted is to an be ethical a, standard. Yes, and Megan, we wanted to be a post-election coverage of the president-elect. That's the point here. The campaign is over. The people have spoken. And this man busted through a blue wall that nobody expected. He won states like Wisconsin and Michigan and Pennsylvania, which should have been Hillary Clinton's the whole time. Mm -hmm. And they were his because of the message, because of the way he's a master communicator. Yep. And a, and a master connector. And but we don't brilliant. get paid to cheerlead for him. No, we we get paid you. to cover him. I don't expect anybody here to cheerlead for him. I expect yeah. us to have platforms like this where we can fairly and effectively and respectfully come in and state the case on his behalf. Amen. Thank you. Agreed. Thanks for having me. Great to see you.
Also